haven't got yet. That would probably be my favourite. Depends how it goes. Um, yeah, this is the Scott Rail 385 116. It's got a very loud horn, so... Uh, very loud. Um, this one's an 8-car version. Um, and uh, I've always no wondered, do these trains from the front... They kind of look like the diesel version of the 197s, not going to lie, they kind of look similar from the front, you know. But anyway, that's the uh, 385. Here we have the Javelin High Speed 395, um, South Eastern High Speed in the uh, nice blue livery which is when um before we had the class 800s back in train sim world 4 or 5 i think it was no back in train sim world 3 people used to um make liveries out of this like trans Pennine express great western railway and all that um but here comes the horn there we are and uh, there is a whistle inside the cab, but I'm trying to find where it is. I'm sure there is a whistle in here. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I know there is a whistle. I, d I think it has got a whistle somewhere. I'm sure it does. Never mind. Yeah, um, I'll have to find it another time, but I'm sure there is a whistle somewhere in the 395. Never mind. Yeah, I must. No, but inside. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there is a whistle on the 395. I might be wrong. Maybe comment on the channel. Anyway, that's the 395. So guys, just to say we are going to be showing off four more trains, we're going to be showing off, no, five more, sorry, um, we've got the, the lovely, one and only, Flying Scotsman. Um, we're going to be showing off the Flying Scotsman, um, Class 801, Class 700, and then both of the HSTs that are in the game, and then we'll be finishing off. So here is the steam engine of Flying Scotsman. We're going to give a whistle. There we go. That's the Flying Scotsman. You want to have a look at what I'll show you around in the cab. So um, this is the Flying Scotsman cab. Um, that's, the, that's where the coal all is. You've got the cab lights on off we're not moving anywhere because we've got buffers in front so i'm just showcasing the trains um and then we've got the whistle rope which is here there you go <clears throat> and then we've got the firebox let's open up the firebox and then let's have a look inside the fire there you go so it's uh not really sure if it's picking up on camera, but I'll try and zoom in a bit. There we go. So it is now showing up. So that is the... Uh, you can just about see it when I focus. There you go. So, um, yeah, that's the Flying Scotsman. So we'll be back when I get the 801. Here we have the Class 801, which um, Lewis may see quite a lot where he where he's from, um, obviously around Leeds Station or whichever station he goes to. Um, this one is 801217 NER. Um, turn the key on so then we can do the door test. We're going to do a door test on this one. Okay, let's do a door test. So they open very fast. Here we go. So that's the door test of it opening. 
and then closing. There we are. Now let's do the horn. There we are. We'll be back with the 700. Here we have the wonderful Thameslink 700-048. Door test. And then horn test. There we are. And we'll get the HSTs next. Here we have the 43043 East Millens trains. Give some big tones for this one. There we are, and then we'll get the last one which is the GWR and that will be the end of the video. And finally for this video today we have the 43 HST um, in GWR livery. I'm not sure exactly which number this one is, it's not showing up, but um, here we have some tones for this one. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video today on Lewis's Lewis the Travel Spotter's channel. Um, make sure to like and subscribe on his channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.